Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to see what it takes to tow a new Bronco behind an RV. And when I say tow it, I mean flat tow it on its own four wheels. So I'm going to show you the equipment that it takes and how to install it. So come along with us and uh, let's get it done. Let's jump right into it. All right, today we're going to be getting this uh, 2022 Ford Bronco Badlands Edition ready to tow behind the RV and uh, we're gonna f get it ready to flat tow and because it's four-wheel drive it's capable of being towed on all four wheels and uh, we've got some equipment here some tow bars and uh, some harnesses some wire harnesses Got a wire harness here for the tail lights and turn signals. And we got the brake controller here. Blue Ox Patriot uh, safety cables, accessories. Those are the front uh, tow hooks there. And the hitch extender. Get it out away from the RV just a little bit. First thing we're going to do is put the connect the harness to the tail lights. Alright, we got the panels off. Shine some light on it. And I think those those are the plugs right there, aren't they? Yes. We just got to pull those plugs out and uh, the harness will tee off on those plugs. You can leave the uh, socket in there and just unplug it and just pull this uh, the top piece off and that's what we're going to plug into there. Into here. Let's see. There is a harness here. This one. Uh -huh. It says run it up alongside that. Start to locate the side of the harness with the yellow wire underneath the vehicle between the rear tire and the rear bumper. Right, route the wire up between the body and the rear bumper. Okay. So Be sure to stay along the inside of the black cloth tape wire harness. I don't know what, that might not be there anymore because I've changed bump. You know what I mean? Right, so can you see that as it comes up? Is that... No? I think you might have to come in through here. See right here? Yeah. See right here? Yeah. And I can grab it then. Uh... Here? Yep. I'm trying to grab it. There, it's coming. Okay. It's coming. All right. See? It'll fit right here. Bam. Okay. That's step six. Route the green wire 
over the vehicle frame on both sides of the vehicle to the passenger side and zip tie as needed. Alright, you want to plug this in right here? One. That one goes. This one goes down there. There, yeah. Which way though? This. Oh, this one goes to it. This one goes down there. Yeah. Okay, like this. Right. got the harness plugged into the driver's side and the passenger side pretty simple and we're gonna test everything before we zip tie up everything out of the way now we're just looking for a place to attach this ground I guess we're gonna drill a small hole into the frame or something and then we're gonna run this cable all the way to the front and that's what's gonna plug into the RV so we're gonna get this connected um, get the cable run up front, test the lights, uh, hook it up to his pickup truck and make sure everything works. And then we'll zip tie everything up nice and clean. Alright, everything's wired up and uh, we got the wire run along the frame and tie, tie wrapped up real good. There you see the, the blinkers working. Brakes. Got them. Running lights. Yep. Good to go. And here's where the wire exits. The, the bumper goes up under the hood. It's tie wrapped. And right into the I got one. This is a Roadmaster Nighthawk tow bar and the Roadmaster tow defender uh, shield. So we're gonna get get those opened up. Yeah, there you go. And this is the 676 Nighthawk. I believe this is an all-terrain. What they call all terrain tour. Very nice. Got the LED lights on it. Comes with the receiver that goes in your hitch. And when we get this hooked up, you'll see it locks up out of the way with this right here. So this is called the modular bumper, right? Yes. Right. This is a factory option modular bumper. And it comes with these mounts, right? Shackles, yeah. And then you, you just added these shackles. And so we're going to take these off. Yeah. And then these came from Roadmaster as well. Space 
right, so we probably don't need that. Nope. So if you have a stock bumper, probably want to upgrade to this modular bumper. It's a lot nicer bumper anyway. And I think what we have to do is, um, I don't know, we got to see how it hooks, hooks that to the yeah. tow bar. Yeah, this may, um, we'll go look at it. Okay. I think, yeah, we might have to. Because it has some of these on yeah, it already. Yeah, yeah. Different ones. And these are from Roadmaster also. So I'm thinking we take that off and put this on in place. Yep. Because the other yeah, one these had get it. replaced. Okay. All right. So it looks like what nine sixteenths maybe, right. and an Allen Allen wrench. We're testing everything with this truck. Um, he's not ready to hook it to the motorhome yet, but we can do everything with the truck. Um, he's gonna actually pull it around and check it out, make sure it works good for him. But this just unlatches here and the tow bar comes down and then you hook it to your vehicle. You just pull these out like so and they lock. Then to unlock it, you just grab these levers and then slide it in. And then when you want to stow it, you just push it up out of the way and it locks in there and put a cover over it. So we're gonna get these brackets swapped out and then we'll get it hooked up to the Bronco. It usually takes a few feet for it to lock in. Uh-huh. And then your RV is going to be up higher, right? It's higher than this. Yes. So it'll just be about perfect. But these are all terrain, so they're made to go up and down. This thing will pivot whichever way it needs to. It'll okay. pivot this way. Do I need to plug this in? You can, but you don't have to. You can plug it in just so it's not dangling. Okay. Oh, I, don't, I don't think you can, yeah. We're going to have to zip tie it. Yeah, we just don't want it to get pinched, so we'll do it back here out of the way. Oh. All right, so we got the brake controller figured out, but when you turn the vehicle off, uh, the cigarette lighter doesn't stay powered, so he's going to have to get a socket. 
uh, that run that he can connect to his battery and run through the firewall and then plug in his uh, brake controller to that but we did get it set up it was pretty easy the simple instructions uh, that's the blue ox patriot brake controller so right now he's just going to go ahead and give it a little tow to see how the tow bar works and this is a roadmaster nighthawk Looking good. Yep. And that Bronco, the steering wheel is tracking right behind his truck. Looking good. Beautiful. tailgating you. <laughs> now you can see immediately the wheels were turning and tracking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And show the side view mirror too. Oh yeah. that worked out pretty good so if you guys have any questions about the install or if anything we didn't answer for you please drop them in the comments I'll be glad to answer also all the products that we used uh, there'll be Amazon links for them some of them most of them came from Amazon uh, I think one part the um, hitch extender came from e-trailer so I'll leave links for all that stuff in the comment or in the description and uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time <laughs>